left it off listening to his favourite band. That is very romantic, I must say. Oh, I mean, so far he's goodness. ticking every box. He's a good one, isn't he? And not only <laughs> that, he's a dad to Emma Lucy Clare. He's stepped up his whole yeah. son. And granddad, yeah. I'm going to read all this out, Billy yeah. and Harrison. Oh. And what about the identical twin granddaughters? I know, and we've Lana got a lot of them. What did you just yeah. describe what they're like? They must oh, be marvellous. So cute. Born oh. eight weeks early now. Okay, so just arrived here at um, Diva. It's just before half past six in the morning. We had a brilliant run through. Stopped in at Fleet and just had a ten minute break in there. So now I've just got to sit and wait for the, the gates to open. We're quite here very early. Um, just a beautiful place. Worries me to see a cormorant flying around over the lake. Um, horrible little buggers there. It looks beautiful. Flat calm. A nice frost on the water. And the cormorant has just landed on the water. So presumably he's going to be going for some of the, the rudd or the roach that are in there. Two more cormorants flying around as well. They are an absolute nightmare for fisheries. I quite happily get the brocock out and deal with them. Anyway. Just arrived at Diva Springs and down here for a day with Martin and a few of the guys. It's a new project started by Diva Springs where groups can hire the whole lake as a corporate day. Um, you can fish um, as a group, you have a breakfast all thrown in for a set fee um, and you get to have the whole fishery to yourselves. So just looking out over Spring Lake at the moment. So you can see it's beautifully flat calm. The lovely bit of frost on the grass. And hopefully these clouds will pass over. Already seen quite a few fish moving on the surface. Okay, so gates have just opened. Um, already half a dozen of us here. Just going to take a slow drive past Willow. Been watching a lot of fish moving off the peninsula just there. So I might come down and have a little look at that. It does look so beautiful this morning. It's coming up to Willow. Off. As I came past there I was greeted by a big fish jumping. You can probably see the boil. Again just off the peninsula there, that might be worth a look. Seems to be a fair bit moving around. So yeah, welcome to Diva Springs boys and girls. Let's have a great time today. I thought I'd lost mine the other day. All the electrics on the car blew. Yeah. Th yeah. Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Th yeah, Thursday. Yeah, well, so. they got me here for my birthday. I don't know what it'll be like, but we'll try it for a change rather than have that constant pressure on my head. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, are they in the lodge yet? Or? She is in, like, she is in, yes. I think they've already phoned up the stage, haven't they? I need to confirm breakfast because they haven't answered my text message from yesterday, so. All right. Um, I wish, I wish, I wish. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're blessed. You're not gonna, you're not gonna wear those big tyres out too quickly, are you? <laughs> now sometimes it can take two and a half, two and three quarters to get here. This morning it was an hour and fifty. Um, stopped off at Fleet for a few minutes and just to waste some time. Easy, easy run.
Yes, I like him. He was, he was, I was quite like, yeah, Marningford. They were about 25 minutes from Marningford as well. Not so, bad, not yeah, bad. I, I'm right in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, I am, yeah. No wonder you get so much practice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm being self-employed. I, I just mm. like to get up as much as I can. Yeah. I'm retired five years, um, end of May. Oh, right, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I get my nickname because I look after all my grandchildren. Um, Mondays is my day off from grand, grandchildren duties. And I absolutely love it. It is a little bit murky. No, you get in there, mate. You get in there. I'm going to pop over onto Spring and give the, the peninsula a few minutes because sitting where I was, I was watching a couple of fish spoiling. I'm just wondering, they're quite high up, so I might take this stalking bug off and try something a little bit higher. Good luck. Have a, have a great day. So, we have the lake to ourselves for the whole day. Um, there was a, a chap who's just turned up without sort of phoning in and booking. And unfortunately, he's not going to be able to fish today because we've got the, the lake booked as a private booking. And understandably, he's a bit disappointed. This is Spring Lake in all its glory. Let me get set up. Okay, so first cast of the day. I've put on a, a gold head daddy. I'm just going to do a little bit of fan casting to start with see what comes out. Now, when I was sitting in the car um, for that half an hour or so I was watching quite a lot of movement in this area uh, a lot of fish moving around that's why I've come over here initially So, tried the peninsula for a few minutes. Um, water is uh, not so easy to see through this morning. It's a little bit murky. Um, so I'm just going to have a little wander around and see what shows itself. It looks like a little bit of an algae bloom going on there. So I'm going to go over onto Willow. Mm, Paul's having a bit of a mare over there. He's fallen over on his backside. He's just struck into some heavy weed. Really looked good, but no end result.
Yeah. What did you do over there? Just trip on the edge of the platform or something? Yeah, there's a hole there, there is, beside the fast car. Okay. Lucky you didn't break your ankle. Yeah. I think that's the second time you caught me Letch Lade falling before as well. Yeah, I got you over there. Yeah, that, that Letch Lade was a lot more graceful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think what I'm going to do in a few minutes, I'm going to pop onto that platform and I'm going to put an egg on. Yeah, stick I, it under a bum. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to change my tactics. I'm going to have another walk around now, and then I think it needs to be small and slow. Way, do it. I do. I definitely. Like I'm not sure if you like to use a draw for you, because uh, one of my favourite droppers is uh, a foam beetle on the point. Yeah. I don't know if you're allowed multiples. Um, I've had one pull on the first put in here with the blue flash damsel. Um, he was in and he was off in, uh, almost instantly, but it was a definite pull, a fish out the water job. Just about there, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's an algae bloom coming up on yeah, spring. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. It's strange this time of year as hell. It's yeah. going to be like in summer if it's like that now. Uh, the problem with ours is people fetching nets from other places, fetches that thing, because it's in spring, my local club, you've got to disinfect oh, your nets. Oh, little pull. Yeah, they, they need to have a dip here. I always, always thoroughly clean my net when I get home. Absolutely. Right, so I'm going to go over there and I'm going to put a, a bung. <laughs> oh yes. So, change of tactics. Um, I've put a a bung on and I've gone with a, a weighted green egg pattern with a red head on it um, and as I was casting it out um, right where the bung is now it's about halfway across huge brown trout cleared the water by at least two feet um, it's interesting knowing that something like that is in the area This is what Paul was saying, and a couple of the guys were saying, is that they, the fish don't seem to be chasing anything at the moment. And they are moving out, as you're moving onto the pegs, they're moving out into the middle. So that's what I'm going to target. That chap seemed a bit disappointed this morning, didn't he? What's that, sorry? That chap who turned up on the off chance, as it were. Yeah. We got a fly in the water, you got a chance. Okay, so we just had a lovely breakfast. Um, thank you very much indeed to Team Diva. Uh, Mr. Cockwell, good afternoon, sir. How are you? Right, good. Wonderful, thank you. Anything happening for you. I've had a couple of takes early this morning, but nothing since then. Yeah. Just got back from breakfast. Oh, little pull there. Yeah. Just put on a big, humongous type thing. If I can't catch them on, I'll knock them out. <laughs> got on the exact imitation thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it doesn't matter if I don't catch, it's, the excuse is just being here. You don't need to go very deep here because the weeds get mm. a little bit high again. I've noticed that this morning, yeah. the fish are high anyway, have been yeah. for ages. I've had a, a brown trout decide to porpoise over the top of me on three occasions here. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, a it? it's a bird. Oh, Tweety Pie. A Tweety Pie. <laughs> <laughs> If it goes cluck cluck poop on my head as I'm flying past. <laughs> a couple of visits ago, I was parked up outside waiting for everything to open because I have a tendency to be here early. And two other cars pulled in behind me on the opposite side of the road. So being a gentleman, I've moved my car forward by about two and a half yards. And as I've then turned the engine off, a pterodactyl or an, oct uh, an ostrich or something flew over the top of the car and That's dumped really. about two and a half pounds of the best of English right slap bang in the middle of the windscreen. Yeah, it's happened, it really. absolutely hilarious on the video. I mean, you don't get any comments from me for about two minutes afterwards because I, all I'm doing is just wetting myself with laughter. I mean, if that's what you get for being a nice guy. Yeah, what's it like when you're horrid? So, <laughs> yeah. Where we, where we used to live, but something similar deposited on my wife's windscreen one day, and I'd managed to convince her for two days that it was an elephant bird. Oh! <laughs> I did suffer when she <laughs> realised. She is of the same ilk as a friend of mine who um, I once convinced. We were travelling. He lived in Norfolk on the on the Broads um, in Roxham. And I was driving him back one night and the Department of Transport, Transport had painted a series of crosshatch lines on the road. They were testing new paints. And he said to me, what on earth is all of that? And I said, well, it's a barcode. And he said, it's a barcode? What for? And I said, well, it's so the satellites can tell where they are as they're going around the planet. You know, he believed me. Really, really. So it sounds like your dear lady and Steve are of the same yeah. ilk. That's a, that's a bit like the very, very old joke, which I suppose is not topical now, but, but when the Russians put the first satellite up, mm. called Sputnik, wasn't it? Yeah. And when it circled the Earth, the very first thing up there, every time it went over a, a bloke, it went beep. Every time it went over a woman, it went beep beep. And every time it went over a gay boy, it, there was nothing. Did you ever hear it? <laughs> Peter, that is that is terrible and <laughs> politically incorrect. But we are of that age where political correctness oh, did not them, yeah. <laughs> exist. Did not. That's one hell of a cast. Look at it, it's still going. I'm sure it's still new. I am. Um, if you believe in very, very, Potter, very adept. Then this is a one thing willow, you see, that moves. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, thank you for stopping. Lovely to see you. We come right up into this very far corner. Earlier on this morning there was a very, very big brown just moving around, drifting around in here. And Martin and Paul were having a little go for it. And I've just hooked a fish. This is my first one of the day. I've got a white egg pattern about two and a half to three feet below the surface and this is a brown. Seems to be a very nice brown. Seems to be a very nice brown indeed. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, probably of about five pounds. So, very, very welcome. I'm getting that ready. And he's in the net. You very nearly saw Grandpa Chris get excited there. There you go. So there we go. Boys and girls, my first fish of the day. Beautiful brown trout. The 
as I said, probably three pounds. Not quite up to the four pound mark. Oh God, those teeth are sharp. Nonetheless, very, very welcome indeed. So let's put him on the stringers. I wasn't so sure that I was going to get to use my stringers today. Oh, Yep. Yeah. It'll be somebody wanting to sell me insurance. So we need to find somewhere that we can. Put in. There we go. Let's get back in and see if we can find another one. Oh, thank you, Diva. a moment then I suspected that I might have had the big one and wouldn't that have been a, a bonus so all I'm doing is I've got this white egg pattern about two and a half to three feet below the single indicator and I'm just letting it drift around and my thinking is, with the wind having been blowing into this corner now for the last couple of hours, um, it may have brought some of the fish in. And it certainly brought that one in. And that was very, very nice indeed. At last I've got something to put on the video channel this evening. What we'll do for a couple of minutes is just have a, a little look at the stock ponds. Full of trout up to maybe the three and a half to four pound mark. Um, lots and lots and lots of fish in there. you can see them moving around they're a couple of years at least away from going in predominantly rainbows in there so two and a half maybe three pound in weight A little bit of scum on the surface there, which doesn't help. Now this pond over in the back corner here, uh, last time I came down was absolutely full of blue trout. Some really beautiful fish. Yeah, the, the light isn't very good for seeing in there. But yeah, there's a, a multitude of fish in there. Lose up to about three pound. So let's get back at it.
So I've had to replace the, the foam indicator because that slipped down onto the hook. Martin tucked into a fish. Thought I'd come along and see what one of them looks like. That's very nice. That's very nice. And beautiful colours on it, Martin. It's a nice one, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Nice one, mate. Right, let's get that uh, fly out and show you now, mate, what we had him on, Chris. Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah. Okay, so Martin's duly dispatched it. That's a two foot long fish. Yeah, Chris, do you want to have a look on that fly mate there? Well, oh, that wasn't coming out, mate, right in that bony bit there on the copper. Well, that's a forceps job, mate. That wasn't coming out. Definitely not. And was that just bobbing around local, or were you casting that out? No, I seen him swim past, and he yep. spooked, and then he came back round, yep. and he was uh, he was really interested. You are, Chris. Yeah, we got so a you got that. Yeah, yep. copper, copper flash tail. All right, with a, just a tan body, and uh, a four mil tungsten bead to give it a bit of weight. Mm to get down in front of it, mate. Yeah. Right, I shall go and change accordingly. You always follow the master's guidance when you come to this place. Yeah, yeah. that's a nice... And that's what happens. That's a nice, long, lean fish, mate. What do you reckon? It? Six? Seven? I think more like seven, yeah. 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 It'll taste nice, too. Lovely. Looks like a male. You're going by the Oedipus fins there. Yeah, yes. Lovely colour, mate. Yeah. It? Well done, Martin. Right. That's given me some hope. That's it, mate. That's it. All okay. right. Back at it. Well done, brother. Hello, Tom Tom. Hello, Tom Tom. I'm listening. Go home. Do you want to go home? Yes. Finding a route home. See you, Martin. See you, Richard. Take care, brother. Ahead. Keep left. All right, so boys and girls, Grandpa Chris heading out. Take care, gentlemen. Thanks for your company. It's been an absolutely fabulous day. Fishing itself has been quite hard, um, but I've had one absolutely stunningly beautiful brown trout, which you'll see. Take care. At the end of Super. the road, turn left. Well, some of the nicest blokes you'll ever come across, and the absolutely gorgeous and the very beautiful Joe, who's shown us all how to do it today. Take care, Joe. God bless you. Turn left. And thanks for showing us all up today. Uh -huh. We've only got two different rainbows so far. Yep. I'm hoping to be still though, there's still time. Yeah. We're here for two more hours, so yeah. you never know. Yeah. No, I just need to get the car back because my daughter brings my grand my, my daughter brings my granddaughter to us tonight oh. for the next three days. So oh, she uses nice. the car. Yeah. 
because um, we have per parking permits around Thank our you, area. Dad, where are you? If you don't hurry up. Yeah, Grandpa Chris will get into serious trouble. Aww, enjoy time with Grandpa. Yeah, take care, Joe. God bless. So, heading out. It's been an absolutely wonderful day. Um, catch you on the flip side. Tight lines. <laughs>